Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 16th through the 22nd of July, 2023. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am going to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everybody out there, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. Please keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop and that's not unusual in a general reading. So guys, if you find you're, you're identifying with the opposite side, just get in where you fit in. As always, Capricorn, don't try to force a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, you have the lovers in reverse. You have the eight of pentacles. And these six of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so you're definitely not seeing eye to eye with somebody. They could even be a soulmate. I do see that something has become un, 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 untwined or untangled here. Um, I feel like you're putting a lot of your attention right now into work as you're dealing with this. But I feel like something's coming unwound, unwound here. Um, I see you letting go of the past, releasing the past. Um, this would have been somebody that you feel that you put a lot of work into this connection, but at this point, you're diverting your attention. Um, with the Six of Pentacles here in reverse, this may have been a very unequal relationship where you were giving and giving and giving. You were working on the connection, but they were not. So let's look at the energy of the person using your energy. All right, we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. And the Two of Wands reversed. Yeah, so th there's a break here. I can see a break. There's been a breakup. This person's not speaking. They're keeping silent right now. They're trying to heal their energy. I do feel like they, they're going to come forward with some communication, or they did, and that may be what caused the breakup. Um, they, they could have said something that was very blunt and very um, sharp and cutting. Yeah, there's, there's something about a cutting energy. I feel like this person can be quite aggressive when they speak. I do feel like at this point, they're not, they're not um, speaking though. So this looks like it was energy that has already occurred or they may be wanting to come forward and say some things, but they may not be kind if they do. With the two of wands in reverse, this person decided to move in a different direction um, away from this connection. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Yeah, there's a breakup. Ace of Pentacles reversed. There, the, there was a lack of stability here. What is affecting this connection? I see an ending. The Hermit. Yeah, there's a lack of communication that's taking place here. You're probably pouring yourself into work right now. And they're just staying silent. They're trying to heal their energy. Let me see the outcome. The strength card, along with the Empress. Taurus or Libra energy. We have Virgo here as well. So there's strong earth energy in this reading other than your own. Um, I am seeing here though that you're being very strong and they're working on their abundance. Now, there could be a pregnancy involved for some of you, or this person could just be beginning something new. They went in a different direction. They're beginning something new. Doesn't necessarily mean it's another connection. It could be anything that they're starting. It could be a project. It could be something new that they're beginning. It could be a connection, though. And I feel like, for you, you feel like the worst of this is over. The storm is over. Um, or it's in, it's behind you anyway. It may not be completely over, but you're, you're really working on yourself right now. 
At the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups in the reverse. All right, that's underlying energy. And this tells me that um, you may be feeling less than creative right now. Emotionally, you're kind of keeping, keeping to yourself. You're not really sharing your emotions with anyone. And there's a, a lack of creativity. It's like you're kind of emotionally shut down and it's affecting your creativity a little bit. So why is the lovers in reverse? Let's clarify this. Why is the love? Thank you. Yeah, there's a tower uh, in reverse. So there was a tower moment between you and this person. They said some hurtful things, I think. Everything kind of unwound, <clears throat> but you're moving past it. <coughs> They, there could be, <coughs> there could be a residual here between the two of you that, that, um, because I feel like you really gave to the connection. <coughs> and you're just kind of trying to rebuild yourself. Everything unwound. And it unwound, <coughs> excuse me, Capricorn. It unwound in a tower moment, and you're kind of recovering yourself now. You've been very hurt. I really feel like this person said some hurtful things to you and it, as this ended. Let's see. Um, you don't trust them any longer. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? You may have at one point felt that this was a soulmate. They could have been a soulmate. Yeah, there it is. The Ten of Coins and the Page of Cups. Now, here your Page of Cups is in the upright. You may be hoping still to hear from this person. You're working on your money. Some of you guys may have had a financial loss and you're trying to recover that. But I feel like you're, you're dealing with this loss by pouring yourself into work. I do feel that um, some of you may be moving towards a new connection after this ending as well. You may be, may be working on a new connection. Let's see why the Six of Pentacles is in reverse. There's that Strength card again. Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, you're being strong about this, um, and you're not communicating with this person. I feel like um, you're really putting on a strong face, a strong front. You are working on yourself, but you you don't understand why you gave so much to this connection and this person didn't. Because you felt like it was a strong connection, and you were giving. You were working at this. You were giving and giving. But they were not. They weren't reciprocating. And I feel like now you're not talking with this person. And it's taken a lot for you to hold back that communication, though. Because I can see that you would like to communicate. But you would prefer that they come forward. And like I said, some of you are now moving into a new connection. Um, be careful you're not moving into a new connection in order to deal with this loss. Because you, you want to heal yourself before you you start something new why is the knight of swords here yeah this person i feel like they said some mean and cutting things they were not investing in the connection and then i feel like they they left you out in the cold or they feel that you left them out in the cold maybe they felt rejected and they said some things that were kind of mean it was hurtful to you though. And you're not you're not looking at them in the same way as you used to. Why is the four of swords here? You you don't trust them because you remember this ending. You remember this tower moment between the two of you. Six of sword or six of wands reversed, ace of cups reversed. Yeah, you likely haven't heard from this person since this breakup. They feel like the connection failed. Like, it just was not successful. They're trying to heal their energy, and they're being very silent here. 
Why is the Four of Wands reversed? I don't see them taking responsibility for anything that was said. I feel like you may feel they owe you an apology. King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. That would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Scorpio is very strong. We have the High Priestess. I do feel like this person has feelings for you. They do have feelings for you. Um, and I'm also seeing, though, that they may have feelings in another direction. It, this could have been somebody that they were keeping secret. They were moving in another direction. They have feelings for someone else, it seems like, and or for something else. It could be a situation, some new project or something that, you know, that has taken their attention. I do see them starting something new, and I see them being very secretive about that, and at the same time, they're still keeping an eye on you. Um, but they're, you would never know it because they're keeping, they're keeping all of that to themselves. There was a new beginning here, or if not, I can't say a new beginning. Let me reword that. They chose to go in a different direction towards something that they felt was going to make them happy. It was going to give them everything they wanted. And they were very secretive about it, or they're being secretive about it. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? And I feel like they were mean in the way that they handled things with you. And that meanness was either because you broke it off and they felt rejected or they broke it off in a mean way. All right. So we have the Four of Wands reversed. That's that ending. It became unstable, and there's the ending. And then we have justice. So this person is trying to balance things out in their energy, but I, you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but I feel like they're asking for karmic justice here. So they feel that they're right. They feel that they're right about whatever this is. Yeah, they do. You may have moved in the direction of, of someone new and they felt rejected. Let's see why the hermit is here. Because they're asking for karmic justice here. They're asking for things to balance out in their favor. Ace of Swords. The Magician in the Reverse. This person feels manipulated. So the truth came out and that truth was about a new love. That this ending was because of new love. So Capricorn, this is telling me that you may be telling this person that after a period of not speaking, you may be getting clarity about a new love that this person has, or you may be giving clarity. I see you becoming extremely clear though, and it has to do with a new love. This new love was trying to come into the picture. It was trying to um, manifest. And you're now working, you're working in that direction. And I don't see you speaking with this person, but you, you may, this feels more like clarity. And this person that is in your energy feels manipulated. They feel that there was manipulation here. Things didn't work out. And if they are the one, they, they're, they're saying that they were right to do what they did. That this connection was not working out. There is a lack of communication that's affecting this connection, though. And I feel like it's on this person's side. They're refusing to talk. Let's look at your outcome. Okay, we have the chariot in reverse. 
Queen of Wands reversed, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I don't see anything, any movement in this connection. And I don't see you wanting to take action towards this person. For some of you, you didn't know what to do. You didn't know what to do with this. You weren't happy in a situation where you had been given and given. It was an unequal give and take. I, I feel like you're trying to be very strong about the situation. You're not... You want to talk to this person. You want an apology for things that were said. But you're not going to take action to, to make that happen. You do feel a little stuck in this, in this energy, though. For some of you, it was you. You had a new love, and you weren't sure what to do. And so you cut this person out, or they cut you out when, when you told them. Or when they found out. For others of you, though, it was the other person. So you'll have to apply it as it as it resonates with you. Because I'm seeing two different timelines. Two different groups of Capricorns here. I do feel like things are not moving forward with this connection. And this person in your energy, I feel like they either feel that they weren't chosen... Because you found a new love and it came out. They're asking for karmic justice for that. And I feel like they were quite quite upset when they found out. And they feel manipulated and rejected. And for others, they chose someone else. And this they kept this person a secret. But they cut you out in order to... to move towards this other person. They felt that the relationship with you was not working. It wasn't it wasn't working. It wasn't manifesting the love and the success that they had thought it would. They felt that the relationship was not successful. And I do see them putting up strong boundaries here. For some of you this person has literally moved away I feel like they're being very quiet. They're being very secretive about what it is that they're doing. And even if they they did cut you out in order to move towards someone else, they still keep an eye on you. But they're not trying to move the connection forward. I don't even I, I definitely feel like they're not willing to talk. They're not open to conversation. But they don't want to come right out and say that either. In a lot of cases, some of them might. Yeah, so I I am seeing that the energy here is very stuck, though. You're being very strong about it, and you're not taking any action. They, they're not open to talking. So this is kind of a tough read. All right, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords in the Reverse. So I see you freeing yourself here. I see you freeing yourself. I do see even if this person was the one who moved away, you do have new love coming in. It could be somebody you work with or somebody that you meet through your work in some capacity. You're very focused on this person right now, though, so it's having difficulty coming in. But as you free yourself from this energy that you're feeling a little stuck in, What's going to happen is that new that new love is coming in. So, yeah, you but you need to heal first. Make sure you do your healing first, Capricorn. Let's see what your oracle card says. You've got number 35. Now, 35 condenses to an 8, and that 8s are generally about moving towards what fulfills you and moving away from things that don't fulfill you. This is called education. So let's see what that reads. Life is filled with lessons. Be teachable. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek. 
the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school, ask a person who might know more than you do, or to find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school and you must learn by experience. Now is a time to be teachable. Open to changing your preconceived notions. Be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. So there's something here that you may not know, something that was kept secret, something that is not out in the open. So be teachable, and for others of you, I do feel like this is Spirit's way of saying that this, this is a life lesson, and that you do have new love coming around the corner. So, you know, that's, that's actually a good sign, but that new love is not going to come in until you are able to free yourself from this lesson or from this, this situation. Okay. Capricorn, I do hope this has been helpful for you. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed, um, I would be grateful if you do. And keep in mind, it does help me to attach to your energy a little bit better. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night. And until I see you in your next weekly reading, namaste.